Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I'm continuing to talk to you about Jira and ServiceNow, having the two things integrated. And in this video, I want to show how to automate some of this integration, right? So if you use the out-of-the-box application, I'll reference that video here up above in a second. Um, if you watch that one, I'm, re I'm actually recommending that you use the Atlassian for Jira Agile Development Service Now, the one that ServiceNow builds. It's an integration that everything's already set for you. And if you do that, and you saw the previous videos, um, you can get non-agile records like incidents and customer service cases, stuff like that, by adding them to the backlog using this triage board. So definitely go watch that video if you haven't already. But I wanted to cover, what if you didn't want to do this? What if you didn't want to have to come in here and look up an incident or look up a customer service case, add it to a backlog in order to get it to sync? over to Jira. That was the use case I presented before. What I can present now is how to use Flow Designer to take care of that for you. So there's a couple of things going on here. The number one thing that I'll call out that is unusual here is step number four. We're gonna cover that here in a second. But other than that, there's a trigger saying, hey, when an incident's created or updated and the assignment group is the JIRA team. So that's the only filter I've got up here, plus whether or not the Agile story for that record is blank. So that's what I've got here. Let me widen this out because it's scrunching everything up a little bit. There you go. So assignment group is JIRA team, Agile story is empty. This will trigger, it'll run once. And essentially what it does is just create a story record. It updates the incident record to have the story record as a related story, right? So basically, let's create the story record. Let's put a short description and assignment group, a description in, it, in the original task, the incident that it was generated from. That'll create um, the story record. Then we want to associate that story record with the incident. That's what I'm doing in this step. I'm setting the field on the incident, agile story, to the story record. So still cool there. Then I add a work note to the story record saying the story was created from incident number and then fill in the incident number there from that record. The last step that I do is I sync the story with Jira. Now this is the only thing that's not out of the box. I had to go do this. I had to make a custom action to do this. And essentially, I'll go, I'll probably do another video on what this is, but it's essentially running a script to call the Agile Jira utilities to sync or export the current record to Jira. So I'm passing at the story record and I'm saying, hey, go sync, go export this story record to Jira. And I have to do that because that normally happens through a business rule, but that business rule isn't gonna fire because we're running this in Flow Designer and usually to stop stuff from you know cycling or, or running out of control or this business rule or this Flow Designer action causing this business rule to trigger and then that causing a flow to run, that causing a business rule to trigger, it could just go, go on and on and on. So they disabled that and so in order to get around that, I made this custom action to go ahead and sync it with Jira. So let's take a look at what that looks like. We're gonna to go to the incident list and I'm gonna pull up, um, I'm just gonna create an incident from scratch. I'm not even gonna pull up an existing incident. So we're gonna create an incident from scratch and from that, it's automatically gonna create a story in Jira for us. Let me make sure, oh, there it goes. So I'm gonna hit new and let me tighten up my window here again so we see Jira back there. There we go. Um, so I have new, while we're waiting on that, uh, actually, it just came up, so let me just go ahead and we'll put this under Abraham Lincoln, and we'll call this Demo Incident to Jira uh, for YouTube, and we'll put a little short description in here using my uh, Stream Deck, and then I'm going to set the assignment group to Jira Team, since that's the condition that I put on that trigger is, is if, if this incident is assigned to the Jira Team, go ahead and create that story record. So all I did was hit save, and on the right-hand side above my head, once this incident is saved, I'm just going to refresh my filters like I've done in the previous uh, videos. My filters up here to filter to only my issues or recently updated. I'm just gonna hit recently updated and then I'm gonna clear that filter and we should see that incident got created as a story or as an issue in Jira. So there it is, demo incident for Jira to Jira for YouTube. You can see the description that I put in there and that happened automatically. So that's how you can do it automatically so you never have to go and touch that backlog and do anything else beside go ahead and do this. Now, what are you missing out on if you do it like this? 
that there's nothing that's going to stay in sync, right? So that's incident, unless I write another flow or another webhook in Jira, it's not going to update the incident with any information. Um, it will still show in the backlog. I can still see the companion incident and story like I showed in my previous video, but I wanted to give you a way to do this without having to um, with the, if you didn't want to go into that backlog. I'm going to include a link below to the GitHub repository where I have that custom action and this flow stored there so you can download it, try it in your instance. Um, until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in integrating ServiceNow and Jira. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.